All right, yeah, and welcome back to Samara Rimworld Beta 18. So, we've got a mad squirrel on its way. Uh, apparently, we're going to go turn on our turrets to take care of it. Which is good. There we go. Uh, sure, you know what, Hannibal? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> this is going to be the easiest kill of a squirrel ever. There we go. Pfft. Yeah, just take it out with a minigun, why not? Okay. So, we need somebody to go take care of that little scratch before it gets infected, otherwise it'll become a little bit more of an annoyance. Uh, it looks like... It looks like we have actually... gotten rid of that other cooking stove. It's in here somewhere. It's right there. So, we get to go and put some stuff in there. Make it a little bit more spacious, move some chairs in there, all that jazz. Uh, is there any furniture in here that I actually want to reinstall at any point? I don't think so, no. There's just a 1x2 table, which I'm not that fussed about. But yeah, you consume your pemmican, why not? Let's just uh, play run on. I mean, how much of a... Uh, it is kind of a bad bite. So yeah, he does want to go there and get his treatment. Honestly, I think I'll just wait until Leslie wakes up, because that's going down pretty fast. He might not even need any medical care whatsoever, to be honest. And I should turn this off as well, because we turned them on to fight a squirrel. <laughs> and we obviously don't have to. There he goes. It's going to be done in no time at all. Okay, uh, how much steel have we got? 345. One of you guys mentioned, and you're absolutely correct, that a lot of the raiders end up walking across this little line here. So it might it'd be a good idea for us to put deadfall traps all the way down this line to try catch those who, for a start, uh, sap the walls, but also the ones that walk along here to get to our kill box. We can maybe take out one or two raiders before they even get to the shooting gallery, as it were. Why is this still here? Move that. I don't want cover points in my kill box. There you go. Uh, we do have tattered apparel. I do believe this is for a pair of pants. Is that right? Or a shirt? A shirt. Oh my god, he's wearing synthread pants. Where's our tailor? Uh, Hannibal does smithing. Then he does... Handling, hunting. Yeah, you should be doing it. None of those jobs are really terribly important and frequent, so... We'll have to see, won't we? Oh, yes. Let's have a look for some Boomalope. It's such a shame that... Ooh, we've got a slaver coming in as well. Hmm. Tell me you got Boomal up. No, you got Yorkies. Oh boy, Yorkies. Just what I always wanted. Well, we'll get Bon Jovi, uh, who potentially is still, uh, yeah, inspired trade. Good, so we should be able to get some good deals. He ended up getting inspired trade just as a trader left, which was really annoying. So I'm hoping that we can get a new uh, member of our group to join us. Uh, it's not a cannibal. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. I think we skipped Nixon. Yeah, none of them are cannibals. That's, uh, it's really disappointing, to be honest. As for selling anything else, uh, I could sell you a pig. Yeah, let's sell you a pig. I'd like to make profit some sort of trade anyway on every trader that turns up we seem to be having no luck anymore with uh, with cannibals I think I'd set it to like 25% chance that every single person who turns up on this map is a cannibal something like that but we've just been really struggling 
Yeah, barely any of these guys are uh, cannibals. Huh. I can't remember exactly what the uh, percentage I set was, but we're certainly not getting the the luckier side of the odds on that one. Okay. Still got a gap in our wall as well with marble. We've got 260 of it, so we should have plenty. I think uh, everybody's probably working on this flagstone, to be honest. Um, if they're doing anything. So, once Leslie's done with this little bit, I'm going to make him do that hole in the wall. Because honestly, that could do with being filled in. It's actually a security threat. So, get on that, Leslie. And then you can do the flagstone in the fridge. Wonderful. Okay. What are we researching right now? Electric smelting. Uh, I think that's to get steel slag, isn't it? Yeah, most likely. Hmm. We've got nobody cooking at the moment. Who's our chef? That would be Vlad. I don't know why he's cooking is not set to one, to be honest. No, it really makes a difference. Um, but you really should be... Should be doing it anyway. Oh, we've got no bills. That would make so much sense. This is the, uh, the new table, which is why they're never using it. Okay, um... I think we wanted you set to 10. So the rules of our uh, simple meals are that it can take any meat, but it can't take veg. And then we had lavish meals. I'm going to change the do until you have eventually. The lavish meals could only use human meat, but could use any animal product or vegetarian product as filler and this is going to be like 10 pause at unpause sorry at four i guess actually we'll do a do until you have we've got five people let's say let's have an excess of two and then leave two underneath so we should always have the right amount. Now I guess I'll do the same with with the simple meals. And pause it too. There we go. And you should make lavish meals first if you can, and then you should make simple meals. That's why it's not been getting done. I apologize, Vlad. I thought I thought it was your fault. Most of the time it probably is, but today not the case. I do need to sort out this uh, stockpile area as well because, of course, everything has shifted in terms of uh, positioning. So he's going to get those simple meals done and then we're going to be in a good spot. We still need humans to eat. You know, I would have maybe thought about buying one of those slavers, um, slaves so that we could actually consume them but it's not really that necessary to be honest we'll just wait it out and eat this inferior meat for a little while what I wouldn't mind is getting steel slag done actually so I'm gonna bump somebody up on research uh, it was Renfield but he's kind of doing mining at the moment and I appreciate him doing that we have a visitor okay Okay, come on in, Creeker. What tribe are you from? Warrior of the Traboco Ridge. Traboco Ridge. Interesting. Interesting. I'm so hungry, and you're you're part of a faction that doesn't like us. You're not hostile yet, though, but, I mean, I don't really care about tribes people being hostile. The more, the merrier, I see. 
Let's uh let's let's capture Creeker, I think. Let's just uh let's casually go to meet Creeker. Cause we are very nice people, as you may guess. Let's go stand here. Let's, let's greet her the way that our colony knows how to greet people. There we go. There we go. Oh no, they're now hostile to us. Oh, whatever will we do? Other than consume the flesh of their, their tribes people. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright. We will be hungry no more, ladies and gents. Animal's gonna make us a delicious dinner. There we go. And now we can have lavish meals. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Leslie started a social fight because they were in insulted. Alright, well. It's over now. Leslie's having a beer now. Hmm. Alrighty then. Wow, you really got a couple of bruises on him. Leslie! Beast of a combat fanatic. Didn't stand a chance. The bulk goods trade is approaching. Okay. Well, come on in. Uh, I'm not going to do the same to you guys. <laughs> I don't think you're uh, Northeast Fatigia. Yeah, you're actually one of the friendlier ones. And not um, tribes people as well. Which does matter to me because I really don't care for the tribes people traders most of all. Because they don't bring that much silver or product. Which is uh, usually a little bit of a downer. 69 pemmican. Yeah... That's ours, so let's find raw fungus. Ooh. Could buy some raw fungus. We're in April May now. I think it's the 10th of April May we get to start growing again, so we don't really have to purchase any vegetables. They're an expensive price anyway. Um, let's sell our skins. The non-human variety. We're getting 390 just off that alone. And sell you a fair few beers. You're gonna need something I want now. Um, cloth masterwork jacket. Wow. Let's sell some dead man's apparel. Uh, hmm. We'll buy that simple helmet. That'll do. I think that's uh well actually we can get rid of all of this dead man stuff as well while we're at it and any tattered apparel along the way that's about to be tattered. I don't want any of my colonists not wearing human leather anyway, so to be honest, I'm probably just gonna sell it all. Won't mind some of your steel, but at two fifty seven that's a lot of money to spend. Hmm. We do still have a steel vein down uh, to the southeast, so I might make good use of that. I might also just buy a bit of steel. Let's buy 150. Sure, you're still paying us. In fact, you know what? No, we'll take it all. You're still paying us silver. And we're taking your steel as well. Let's haul that urgently so it doesn't degrade, please. The rest of it can go in its own time. Spare helmet's always nice. Means we don't have to make them out of the steel and components as well, so... Always good. I'm really struggling to get new colonists. I really wish we could get a fair few more. But they're just not showing themselves at the moment. I wish our tailor would get better at tailoring. He's a 10. I mean, he should be good at this point. She's got 14. What did I have these set to? I think 10. Yeah, I suppose 10 is a, a reasonable time to start. 
So now these guys, yeah, they stop at 10. Just trying to get their, uh, their skills up. How many more shells have we got? 10. Nice. That's not too bad. We need more boomalope and chem fuel stuff. In fact, I could. I think they had chem fuel on them. Let me just double check. I could buy some chem fuel. It's not terribly important, but... Uh, yes, you did. 406. Never mind. It's more than steel. I'll just wait for our boomalope to uh, peer it out. Thank you very much. And I'll keep checking for my female. As soon as I find this female boomalope or male boomalope, whichever one it is I end up needing, I am certainly, certainly not going to let it leave the building. Ooh, there's some steel there as well. 209. I'll take that. It's an odd placement of steel. Didn't expect to see it there. We do also need some chairs for the kitchen stove and the butcher's table. Let's make these superior. Strange caravan's leaving. Okay. Yeah, the growing zones have started apparently because we've now got heel root on the go. How's our power doing? It's not the best. I'm just thinking because we've got no chem fuel in our generator at the moment, so... Masterwork! Beautiful. This furniture bears a depiction of Dolly the Impaler Townsend practicing cooking with an exuberant shout. The scene is surrounded by several books. The smiling head of a comedian watches overall. The overall composition is triangular. This portrayal tells the story of the Impaler becoming a master of cooking on the 8th of September, 5502. I like the idea that the smiling head of a comedian watches overall, right over the butcher's table, because it's probably literally a comedian that we've beheaded and put on our mantelpiece, <laughs> as our cannibal vamps like to do. They do like to decorate with the uh, bodies of their victims. What are you, Why are you wearing... Oh, Devil Strand Parker. You know what? Fair enough on that one. I kind of do want you wearing uh, human leather, but... Oh, that's perfectly fine by me. So they're getting a debuff for wearing the Dead Man's Armored Vest, but they're getting plus five for wearing human leather, so... Works out in the end. Their clothing's kind of cancelling themselves out. Are we struggling on sandstone? It looks like we are. Uh, Hannibal's working on that, though. Fair enough. Uh, we could get some haulers to help him out, I suppose. Get some of those chunks moved. And the heel root's coming back through again. Where's our grower and why are they not growing? Bon Jovi. Get growing. Now he's sleeping at the moment, but I really would like to get that started again so we can start brewing beer. I want to see this entire thing full by the end of winter. Like constantly full and churning beer in and out. That's the hope. Just thought, what's this taking right now? Manufactured... Ah, oh, this is taking wart. Okay. So I'm thinking when he en empties it out, they're actually moving beer, I think, here first, and then into here. This is a long, long way between that. But that being said, these tend to have a fair bit of time between them when they are ready for the harvest. So it's probably not too much of a, an issue as far as efficiency is concerned. I like how Bon Jovi's working on the flowers first. You do that. It's not like we need food or anything. We don't actually need food though. I'm being serious on that point, but you know. We do kind of need power. Ah oh, dear. Yeah, that's an issue. Well, actually, we probably don't really need the heaters on anymore. 
so we can save power that way. It's still a little bit cold, sure, but during the day it's not that bad. I don't mind them having a slept with the cold debuff for a few days while it warms up. So has given birth. Yay, three little piggies. Alright, can you be done with the flowers soon, Bon Jovi? Thank you. Oh my god. No, he knows his priorities. It's all about that flower. And now to plant the poplar trees, apparently. I don't mind this task being performed, to be honest. Gives me a little bit of wood, occasionally. So I'll accept it. Okay. Minor break on Leslie. What's your problems? Hey, with that table demands, I'm a vest feeling terrible. You've really got nothing to uh, complain about. Good to know. Yeah, Bon Jovi just went and uh, got some roses. And then just sort of went to bed. Well, at least everybody's rooms are a little bit more decent. And we've almost got enough sandstone to finish off of our fridge's floor as well, so we can stop uh, throwing dirt left, right and centre around the base. I need to flagstone out the stockpile zone. I need to do something with this room as well. Other than that, every room... Oh, actually, I need to tile this one up as well. This one's more important to tile up, actually, because it is... The hair has been self-tamed. Can it be self-slaughtered as well, please? Appreciate that. Rare thrombos have entered the area. How many? Two. Hmm. They do give you a lot of meat. And of course, the rare thrombo horn is quite expensive. I don't know about taking two on, not with five of us. I think that's just a bit too, uh, a bit too sketchy. Wow! We've been working hard, haven't we? Might want to punch into this at some point. Maybe we'll do that in the next few episodes. We'll go into, uh, grab whatever's in here. It's either mechanoids or it's, um, space dudes with charged rifles and things like that. Regardless, they've usually got something really useful in there. Even like crypto sleep caskets, so if one of our guys gets a terminal illness, like they, um, Luciferium or something like that. I can put them in the chamber when they won't die then. They'll be in uh, constant stasis, which would be good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it off here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as well for more in the future. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscription button, and that'll give you notifications when I release new videos. I do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.